Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Tony, Kelly's husband. And um, we uh, are live from, uh, well, actually, we're not live. We're recording from the Royal Bee Yarn Company. The Royal Bee Yarn Company in Pacifica, <laughs> California. <laughs> yep. And this is our uh, second podcast. Second podcast. Or podcast. So well done. Or... You watched the first one and you came back to watch some more of this. So well done. I hope you're very proud of yourselves for coming back for more. But this is uh, going to be a little bit more different, more structured, and we're going to be more professional about this. Not really. We Again, we're unrehearsed and um, just winging it. Yeah. I think that's going to be our thing. Yeah. I think winging it is going to be our thing. I think it just takes away the pressure. I mean... Yeah. It just makes it more natural, you know. <laughs> they can listen, watch us talk about <laughs> stuff like this. Where there are moments of awkward silence. Yes. <laughs> so we, um, this is our second um, vodcast, and it is week four. We're going into week four of quarantine, and oh, it's week four of the shop being shut, which is... Um, super sad but we have um we've been doing doorstop deliveries we have been doing a few little like um clandestine drop-offs where um we make sure that we've social distance and people um pop to the shop but they stay in their car and then we pop packages out to them and do everything in a very hygienic manner. I'm a self-confessed germaphobe anyway, so... Um, and we did check the law, and we are... Yeah, we're our, legal. We can do we're it. legal, so that's Section good. Section 13, yeah, paragraph good. 1. <laughs> Is that true? Is that correct? So it's it's something like 13 that. 13 <laughs> Anyway, impressive. so, yeah. so it's, um, you know, we're still in scary times, but yeah. um, the governor has been saying we're flattening the curve and yeah. we're doing all the right things, so... Yeah. The weather was atrocious today, but yeah. there's still people taking walks, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, so what and we're been... here to spread a little sunshine and happiness. And Good. that was clever. We're, um... <laughs> that was really clever. <laughs> Even though we're, we just about. talked about it, we're kind of not talking about it. Yeah. We're talking about things that um, we've been up to, and we're going to talk about Dragon Horde yarn, Dragon Tristan, Horde yarn. and we're going to. Our kind of format is going to be we're going to highlight a yarn that we carry in the shop in a, a, a indie dyer or a company that we're really passionate about. Um, and oh, and one of the things that we're totally passionate about, uh, um, uh, Denise uh, Bayron of Bayron Handmade, um, I actually am wearing my wave of change out of my yarn. This um, is my bulky, and uh, the colorway is Skeeter Loves Grape balls of yarn ha 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 we had a lot of fun naming all of um, our yarns this one's named after um skeeter obviously who we love sometimes she uh, manages uh the shop when um either judy or i aren't uh available when we're out at events etc she likes to put me in my place which is I she does she's important. really sassy yeah. and um i started um uh, this week, my second one, because this one was made by our yachter, Patricia, we call her our yachter, our yarn daughter, um, for me, um, ready for actually the uh, Vogue Knitting Live event, which unfortunately didn't happen and I guess will happen um, in Seattle next year. And I can't stop wearing it. It's so cozy and comfy and I think it's flattering on uh, a plus size figure. It's very nice. I yeah. tried it on as well. It's very comfy. It did look pretty darn cute on him. We're did. thinking about making him a version, obviously, with uh, longer sleeves. I did the shorter sleeves and um, something a bit um, longer because I did um, the crop length too. And when I say I, Patricia did on my behalf. And then the next one that I cast on um, out of Heather has Fishy Shades of Grey, which That's is a color. gray colorway, which Patricia did so we can twin. Um, I, um, I'm thinking about not doing the pearl. I don't know. I don't know. I might get creative. Just to I remind you that I know nothing about knitting <laughs> or knitting terms. I don't know what she's talking about right now. It's wool and it's very, very attractive wool and it's knitted and it's made of yarn. <laughs> but really it's my job here said. to learn. I'm going to be learning. I need to learn. 
I need to you do. You need you need to embrace it. What have you, you been doing? So that's oh, and I cleaned the oven. And I that think an that I day. like have become kind of like an easy off huffer. Um, yeah. I was <laughs> choking on the fumes as I was cleaning. And it was really bad. And um, um, and I've cleaned out um, two closets, and I turned our hall closet, which is um, sort of near our kitchen, into um, a pantry. So now I feel really, really fancy because. I um, have Did a pantry you know, in my house. We very nearly didn't film this today because I couldn't find the tripod. It's true. The tripod <laughs> is in the pantry. What's it? Yeah. That doesn't belong in the pantry. Can't eat the tripod. Don't Can't eat the eat, tripod. No, it's not good. Um, <laughs> what have what you been I've doing? Been doing? Good yeah. question. I'm glad you asked me that. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Up a storm. I clearly am missing human <laughs> contact, about me. and I'm what like, think of me? tell me. <laughs> um, so, what I've been doing, Kelly? Thanks yeah. for asking. Well, I'm um, our school district is still long distance teaching, distance learning. Um, it's our spring break <laughs> week this week, so taking a week off, but I'm still answering emails from parents, which is fine. I like to help. Um, doing a lot of long distance learning. Doing a lot of reading. I've been reading great. Um, David Copperfield by Charles oh, Dickens. Yeah, yeah. That's very challenging. It's a big, thick book. No pictures in it, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> and also reading Debbie Harry's autobiography, which is really good. I wasn't a Blondie fan growing up, but um, now I kind of am. Oh, there's our phone. That could be an order. So we're, we're going to pause, pause this. Yay! It was an order. Woohoo! Woo Keeping us alive. Keeping the bee alive. Thank you so much. Whoever ordered just then, that's fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay, so you were talking about what you've been up to. Reading and playing some music and writing music. Um, <laughs> really bad music. Would you like me to play a song? Yes. Well, I haven't got my guitar, so... <laughs> That'd so. be super awkward I'll do it as later. well. Yeah, really, awkward. really awkward. And really awkward, yeah. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, mainly reading and a lot of work and, you know, just work is exhausting. I'm working from 7 in the morning till, like, basically 9, 10 Don't complain. Night. We're really, no, really lucky. I'm really happy. We're yeah, super I know. lucky. I know. We're we super, super lucky. lucky. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, don't complain. Yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm, okay. I appreciate Good. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... What are you going to be talking about now, Cal? This is so natural. Go on. What are you going to be talking about now? <laughs> so um, I was going to wax lyrical about um, one of the yarns that we have in the shop. And I don't know whether there are other LYSs that have Dragon Horde yarn. So I held it too slip close ooh, so you can yeah. see the label. Are you, gonna, are you going to do your squishing? No, I'm just going to do that joke's done. So this is what we're talking about today. Yeah. Dragon Horde yarn. And I'm, and we have um, fingering DK, and we have the mohair, and we also have the um, sprite sparkles. It's a slight so sparkle in that. Pretty. And then here's some of the the mohair. Mm -hmm. I never really. I probably look like I'm a super shifty person because I don't really know where to look the on this here. camera. It's right there. It's there? There. It's right there where my fingers. Does it look like I'm looking at the camera now? I don't yes, know. Don't anyway. Know. Um, so um, we met Tristan. Well, myself and my friend Heather met Tristan at Stitches Utah. And she actually lives in Utah and she has her dye studio in Utah. Um, and her mother is also a dyer. And you guys probably, I mean, they're pretty darn famous in the yarn world. They had a pod, have a podcast. And um, Tristan has a really big uh, following with Dragon Horde Yarn. And my booth was opposite her booth um, at Stitches Utah. And I just saw how adorable she was and she was interacting so incredibly well with all of um, her customers and just so darn cute and she and um i think a staff member of hers or somebody a friend that was helping her um kept showing up her friend kept showing up and they were wearing the exact same sweaters and so I, it was just so cute and i nicknamed her i was like you look like just like a little gothic angel and she took the compliment in the way in which it was meant and um that's my nickname for her and we became friends. 
And so I was like, I really want you to come out to the Bay Area and do a trunk show, which she did. And um, she's amazing and incredible. And she stayed with us. And I have to be honest, like we invited her to stay at our home. And at first I was like, what if, what have we done? Like, I don't know her, but what if we don't like her? <laughs> what if it's all awkward and, you but know, it turns out she was jolly, lovely, person. perfect, really nice person. Yeah. Of Good course. house guest. Yeah. Clean. Hung up her towels, <laughs> threw away her trash. She was good. She was a perfect house guest, and now yeah. she's a personal friend of ours, and, and we love I her. I was really surprised because she's young, because we're not young. You no, know, we're, we're not, not young. Late, you know, yeah. Late, mm -hmm. late, for sure. And, um, yeah. yeah. And we thought, okay, <laughs> we're going to have to go out partying to a nightclub and dance and karaoke and stuff like that. But she was, uh, she was just really happy to just stay in, and we watched, we binge watched <laughs> stuff on SNL TV. And, yeah. And, yeah. Ooh, not the uh, best time yeah we did we had a good time it was sad to see her go yeah really sad to see her go in fact we can't wait for her um to come back and maybe she and her husband will come out and stay with us again mm. and um i feel really privileged because i uh, now have her yarn in the shop and it's just gorgeous i mean her color sensibility is incredible she's um you know i I can't, well, and this is a custom colorway for the Royal Bee, which she made um, for um, Stitches West because I had her at my booth at Stitches West together with my own yarn and um, Chelsea Lux, which I also adore. And um, this one she called Gothic Angel. So we have this uh, at the shop and we plan on getting more and our mohair is lush. So anyway, just wanted to, wax lyrical about how much we love Tristan, Dragon Horde yarn. Let's do another close-up on this oh one. Oh yeah. And that's the um, Colorway Gothic Angel, which is just gorgeous. So we had a bit of a surprise the other day, didn't we? We, we did. didn't realize that we, we were actually <laughs> gonna have to stop selling yarn and <laughs> go into another field, which we weren't expecting. We're having refurbishments to the building. They're rebuilding the property. So they took all the signs down. We have this beautiful plastic, <laughs> beautiful plastic <laughs> sign, which they took down and they put up a temporary one. Yeah. And I guess we're now in the- Yam business. The yam business. You Get couldn't that. make it up. It was so funny. We walked in and um, I'm super glad that the construction's going on. And I'm, I'm absolutely delighted because this is a pretty unattractive strip mall. And hopefully what will end up happening is that actually it ends up being kind of cute. We'll see. Um, but Should I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, the, the Royal, Royal Bee Yam, Yam Company. company. So for if all you your interest in yams. Yes, um, or potatoes, potatoes, or perhaps sweet, uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet turnips. Are sweet potatoes all the tubers, yams? We can sell. Um, <gasps> Are sweet potatoes yams? Are yams sweet potatoes? Uh, Is it the same thing? That's that's a whole episode. I think, <laughs> that we could do. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to be doing from now on is selling yeah. and talking about yams. What's your favorite yam? <laughs> I know what my favorite is. What is your favorite yam? How do you like your... <laughs> Tony actually does a mean yam. He does a traditional roast at least once a week. And he um, roasts uh, sweet potatoes or yams. I don't know which. Um, uh, with Hot all... boil them. Yeah. Shake the pot after you've drained it to break them, and you get a nice crunchy roast yam. And it puts like olive oil in the oven. It's pretty delicious. Paprika, Worcester sauce. Mm -hmm. um, that what's that? American salt, Lowry salt. Lowry salt. Um, bit of pepper. Yeah. Good. Super that. yummy. Yeah. So tune yeah. in next week for more yam tips. <laughs> so we're really lucky to live in Pacifica. We absolutely adore this town and we have been so supported by the community here so far, particularly so the grateful. knitting and thank crocheting so and embroidery community. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, uh, well, one of the things people might not know about me is I'm actually a board member of the Pacifica Resource Center, uh, which um, helps people who are facing economic strife and difficulty and they kind of do a lot of preventative stuff. They help with groceries, they help with 
electricity bills, they can pay your rent or your mortgage for you if you fall on hard times. Boy, um, do we need them more than ever right and now. A lot of people don't know they exist. Yeah, so, it's true. You know. Yeah. And they help That's a with, plug for the Pacifica yeah. Resource Center. Yeah, Pacifica Resource Center. And um, they're incredible people. Um, very discreet. It's pretty pretty phenomenal. But yeah. um, because people have been doing so much for me, and I've really needed it, and let's face it, we all need help now and again. And now more than ever, I think a lot of people are um, facing challenges. So one of the things that we thought we could do, well, Okay, so let me back up for a second. In order to stimulate business here at the Royal Bee, I came up with this idea that I would do these really fun kits. And actually, um, there are um, three specific um, dyer, um, sorry, not dyers, designers that are gonna help me um, that are local and Bay Area. And I'll tell you all about those next week. And I'm gonna put them up on the site. And so I put Tony to work um, making uh, mini skeins out of, I know how to make mini skeins. Yeah, he did a really good job. He's really good. Yeah. This is a regular skein. Yeah. Now show a mini skein. Here's a mini skein. And um, so we're, <laughs> so I put him to work and I was doing like paperwork and he was doing. Um, I know how to make the, mini skeins. Yeah. Now. He was using the um, uh, skein winder and and using our uh, yardage counter and making these cute little mini skeins. And then, you know, out of the regular skeins, of course there's like leftover so what we thought we would do and here's a couple little examples of some of the like not hundred yard leftovers is we're gonna um, make kits and then we're going to offer them uh, pay what you can or for free uh, for people in uh, our kind of like 20 mile radius Pacifica and about 20 miles beyond for people that want to learn how to knit or crochet um, because we know as crafters ourselves, um, how much stress, uh, this can relieve. And so we're going to do little doorstop deliveries for people who want Beyond that. 20 miles, like Redwood City yesterday was way, was way Is that beyond. more than 20 miles? Yeah, it's more than 20 miles. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to so, Google it. Uh, okay. Google it. So, um, so that's our plan. I need to get in a bunch of crochet hooks and a bunch of knitting needles because I haven't got enough here. So it might not be next week. It might be the week after. Um, but we thought that that would be... Sorry, um, I need your face. Uh, oh, it's, oh. <laughs> it's still not working. I know you code. It's okay. <laughs> so um, <laughs> is, that, so is, that, is, is that really <laughs> Like if something happens to me, you'll be like fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> like, show, me oh, show me your face. Show me your face. So keep talking. Yeah. So anyway, so we plan on giving like little bits of sample yarn and um, uh, needles, and I I already have like a handout that I do for. Um, beginning knitting and beginning crochet classes. I'm really not uh, strong enough at either in order to be able to go beyond that. I have other um, instructors that take people beyond the beginning, but... Um, Redwood City is 24 miles away. Oh, okay, 24 miles. And yes. what about Burlingame? Because we've been going to Burlingame Burling a little Game's bit not that too. far. It's no, not that okay. far. It's about right. 10 miles. Okay, a 25 guess, mile radius. And <laughs> I guess, how far do you think Burlingame is? This is really interesting. Like, I'm gonna go like 15 miles. 15 miles, okay. Keep I know talking. it's not that far. Technology. And like South San Francisco, we've done a couple drop-offs there too. 8.4 miles. Oh, wow. I had no idea it was that close. Feels like it takes a little long Beautiful to get there. Beautiful well. yeah, yeah, so pretty. Very fancy place. Very quiet, so, obviously. Yeah. So anyway, we're hopefully going to be doing a little bit of good and spreading um, joy and also, um, you know, um, teaching people the stress and health benefits of knitting and crocheting and Kelly what are, what are the stress and health benefits to knitting well our viewers would know they would know but they have done neuroscientific studies that show um, that it lowers your blood pressure that it helps with mindfulness that Mo um, fine motor. yeah fine motor skills it can so. um, should I do that for you since we're still touching I know. It's a joke that never goes old for me. Stop touching your face. <laughs> I can't stop touching. Um, yeah. 
all kinds of, of, of benefits. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, so that's basically the end of the show. I promise, um, because of, of circumstances. It makes it sound so like. It doesn't. I was so rambly. I'm so rambly. Yeah, you do tend to ramble. I'm but you a ramble in a nice way. I like listening to your ramble. Aww, just thanks. adjust your flow a little bit. My stickier. crocheted flower. Yeah. Show Kelly that crochet White flower. Can you close, close oh, up yeah. that crochet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not very close up, but uh, close enough. Um anyway, I just want to promise you I <laughs> I got my readers on. Great continuity. <laughs> um, anyway, that wraps up the vlog. Um it's obviously because obviously of current circumstances, it's just going to be me and Kelly. But in the future, there will be other people more interested in than me talking about <laughs> yarn really and knitting and things like that. You're interesting. I, my parents said, you know, we don't sound Welsh at all. And I, I guess I don't sound Welsh because, I don't know. I just you don't sound Welsh to me. Yeah, okay. But my parents said, oh, you, you don't sound, you know, I haven't got a Welsh accent at all. So that's fine. But anyway just want to say you know it's really important that you know that there will be other people on the show yes. and we're gonna Stick and the shop's with in, us please it and the will shop, get more interesting as we get better at this and the shop is in a bit of disarray because we're moving around but we will show you around the shop yeah it's, maybe yeah yeah, nice and, yeah. And yeah we'll keep you posted on other things um so yeah so yeah. thanks for watching everybody yeah um and stay healthy yeah stay safe Wash your hands. Like that. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. <laughs> Stay six feet apart from people. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and thank you all you people for keeping us going. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. Anyway, should we wave? Are we going to wave? Are we going to end like, should we end like that? Okay. Next time. Can I do my song next time? <laughs> no.